Faith Alive with Ted Shuttlesworth is on the air. Join us from under one of America's great gospel tents as thousands come to hear a message of faith and victory. Watch as God's healing power touches them. You too can receive your miracle today. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And now, join us in Buffalo, New York, with the crowds that came to hear and be healed, evangelist Ted Shuttlesworth. And welcome to the telecast again this week. I've been doing a lot of reading from the Bible lately. The Lord's just been pressing in on my spirit. We need a miracle for our world. Every unclean spirit, I believe, has been vomited out of hell. Brother Shambach used to preach a message, invasion from outer space, talking about devils. And yet Jesus said, and the word of God declares, Jesus said, Behold, I give you power over all the works of the devil, and nothing by any means shall harm you. Now, whatever your greatest need is, wrap your faith around it. You see the special number there on your screen. Make the call. Let my anointed prayer partners know what you're believing for. We'll pray for you. And today's message from under the big tent, I believe it'll build your faith. We're still here. Hallelujah. Go with me now, live. And now, with today's healing message, we're still here. Everybody say this with me. We're all still here. We're all still here. What does that mean? But say it again. We're all, we're all still here. We're still here. The thought that God dropped in my heart this afternoon, there has been many things that the enemy of your soul has tried to take you out, but God by his power has kept you, and we're all still here. The devil took his best shot, but it wasn't enough to take you out. God, who is God all by himself, has kept you. And if you've got nothing else to thank him for tonight, you ought to shout, we're all still here. In the book of Acts, I was reading today, in Acts the 16th chapter, the 25th verse, the Bible says, at midnight, Paul 
and Silas, what did they do? They prayed and sang praises unto God. How many have been singing tonight with all your heart? Even as we've been singing, I watch some of you start smiling. You feel a load go off of you. You that are watching, as you begin to worship God, the Bible says God inhabits God's people's praises. When you praise him, God comes down and lives in your praise. You ought to make a habitation in your life every day. You ought to say, Lord, I'm going to praise you no matter what's going wrong, no matter what's right. I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to be a praiser. I'm going to thank God. Because I know at the end of the battle, I win. Hallelujah. My God is a deliverer. My God will cause me to come into a place where the devil cannot steal, bind, or kill me. But Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Shall yes. Shall we're still here. The Bible says... As they sang and praised God, the prisoners yeah. heard them. You know why we've got this ten up? Do you know why I preach across television through the medium of all that we do? Because there are people that hear and they're bound and they're prisoners, but your praise and your prayer tonight is going to set people free all over the world. If you believe it, shout yes. A woman got a hold of our office today, and she said, I watched, and when he was done preaching, I knew I had to be saved, and I prayed with the preacher last night. So not only almost 100 souls here, but around the world, people said, I want to serve Jesus. I'm telling you, we're living in the last of the last days, but the devil does not get to decide your destiny. The devil doesn't get to decide your future, but your help and your hope is in God, and your life is in God, and Christ is in us, the hope of glory. Turn around and tell somebody, we're still here. Shout it again. We're. Then verse 28, just Four words. The Bible says, we are all here. Everybody say, we're all here. Say it again, we're all here. I ask God to let me preach in such a way the devil takes his hands off you now. In Jesus' name, a man called the office this afternoon. His father was rushed to the hospital, given up to die, terminal cancer. But he said, my dad said, turn this on tonight. And I know they're watching right there in that hospital room. And brother, I want you to know God's not forgotten who you are. He knows where you are. There is no, <laughs> oh, I feel this strong. There is no cancer. There is no disease that is stronger than the power of God. We've just come through uh, three years of people living in fear and now we find out in ignorance as well. It wasn't like they told us. I've said for years uh, what the Bible says that you're to judge nothing before it's time and we rush to judgment and we forgot about Jesus who's on the throne. There's not a disease that Jesus cannot heal. There's not a trouble that Jesus cannot solve. There's nothing that you're ever going to encounter that the mighty Christ cannot deliver you from. That's why we look the devil in the face and declare we're still here. Hallelujah. We're still here and we're praising God and we're praying and we're shouting and the prisoners are going to hear that we are free. Clap your hands and say amen. When Paul and Silas begin to praise God and pray, the Bible says not only do the prisoners hear them, but God shook the prison house with an earthquake. The Bible says the foundation was shaken. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you something by a prophetic word. When I was praying today, God said, tell the people that are watching and you that are here, 
What you've seen in the last 30 some months is God shaking the foundation that the prisoner might go free. Everything that you see, I'm not saying God did it. I'm saying God is using it to shake the foundations that men have put in place to try to destroy you. I was reading in a book on history years ago. They gathered quite a few uh, African-American black brothers together, and the government had an experiment. It was called the Tuskegee Experiment. What they did, they tried to destroy that entire generation of African-American men by sterilizing them. Are you listening to me? This is a matter of history. I might get thrown off media, but it's all right. Last I checked, you got to tell the truth to go to heaven. I'm watching that same demon spirit try to come on this generation to convince you you should do everything that they want you to do. But I prophesy to you, God is getting ready to shake the foundation of those that are trying to imprison you and trying to control you and trying to determine your future and telling you you don't have a future. I come to tell every one of you, you have a future in God. I come to tell you the devil is a liar. I come to tell you no matter what the devil is trying to put in place to destroy you, God God's going to shake the foundation as you praise God. Everything that's designed against you is going to be shaken off of you. Everybody say, shake it off. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you ought to praise God right now. You ought to lift your voice right now. The devil doesn't want you to shout. Shout anyhow. The devil doesn't want you to jump on your feet and give God praise. Praise God anyhow. I don't care what you're going through. God has a way out of your trouble. God has a way out of your problem. And we're still here. Shout, we're still here. The foundations are being shaken. I said the foundations are being shaken. So don't be in fear. Don't be in ignorance. God's not going to let somebody rule over your life. The only one that's going to watch over you is God himself. By the power of the resurrected Jesus, I come to say I'm on your side. You're on my side. We're believing God to say by faith we're all still here. No matter what you're dealing with, you ought to shout it again. We're all still here. Then the Bible says, through that praise, the doors opened. The doors opened. And the prisoners were set free. Contained in your praise is an open door. If you'll praise God, I believe everyone in this tent, and one night I'm going to pray this way, I'm going to ask God to give everyone the best jobs that are available in Buffalo. And you that are watching where you're at, I believe in your praise, the door is going to open for your home. I'm going to ask God to cancel everyone's debt in the name of Jesus, that God will open up a door, and not only a door, but the windows of heaven over you as Malachi prophesied, and he'll pour out a blessing that you cannot contain it. Are you listening to this preacher? Shout, we're still here! Shout it again! On May 14, 1948, Israel was reborn as a nation. Then all hell broke loose. On June 5, 1967, Israel came under an attack. What does the future hold for this tiny nation that God calls the apple of his eye? Ezekiel prophesied, After many days, you will be visited. Ted Shuttlesworth's newest book answers the question, where are we in God's prophetic time clock? Will Russia eventually invade Israel? Is Islam a religion of peace? What was the vision of the destruction of America? For your free copy of this book, The Coming Invasion of Israel, call 1-888-323 2484 today.
Go with us into a live service where miracles are taking place. The reason I brought you up first, I saw you had oxygen. How long have you been on it? Two years. Two years. Now, you actually came for healing for your ear, right? Yes. But let me tell you something. My wife will confirm it, our workers. The last five tent meetings, God has healed everybody off oxygen tanks. One woman, he gave her two new lungs when they x-rayed brand new lungs in uh, Johnson City, uh, Tennessee. So when I saw you, my heart went out. You can be like my grandmother. My grandmother's in heaven. You're not. Amen. And I don't want you going yet. Can I ask your name, little lady? Pat. Pat? Yes. You're a blessing. I'm going to pray for your ear to get its hearing. But then I'm going to pray God heals both your lungs. I also know in my spirit, your heart needs a supernatural touch. Isn't that right? It started, the Lord shows me, with irregular heartbeats sometime back. You could feel your heart flutter in your chest, right? right? And then the Lord shows me by this same gift that Paul had the night he was in the prison and knew the man was going to take his life and God showed him. God showed me he's going to heal your heart. But not only that, a little bit of blockage that's come in the arteries are going to receive a supernatural touch. Thank you. And then in your neck, where it's sometimes you feel like not a pain, but something there, right? Yes. That artery in your neck's going to open up too. Well, thank you. Are you surprised the Lord would show me this, sis? No. I feel your spirit. I believe you're a believer. And when you leave here tonight, you're going to be a double believer. Now, the only reason I sit down is so I can last longer. How many remember Oral Roberts? Anybody remember that? He told me one time in Dallas, he said, son, God uses you like he did me. He said, you want to last long? I said, yes, sir. Because he was 90 when he told me. He said, get you a chair and take time, love on the people, take time for them, and you'll be able to go longer. This chair's new name is Longer. Everybody lift your hand towards Pat. has a bad spirit. Not Pat. Now you that are watching, watch how God touches people and then claim your miracle too. Take my hand, little lady, come here. I don't want to mess up your hat, but I'm going to pray for this hand. When I pray, God's going to touch you. Jesus, here's the woman. She needs three miracles that I can see, probably more. But you're going to give her everything she needs by starting. How long had you lost hearing in this year? More than a year? Yes. More than two? Yes. More than three? Yes. More than five? Oh my goodness, that's five years too long. Everybody lift your hand. Don will do it. I know you're with me, Jesus. I lay my hands on the little woman. Lost her hearing at least five years or more. Give her a brand new eardrum from heaven. Brand new auditory nerve. I found deaf spirit in the name of Jesus. Jesus came to me and gave me power over everything you're trying to do. And I stand solely on the word of God. I command you, devil, to come out this year and never come back. I thank you, Lord, for a new eardrum, new auditory nerve. Emphasis in Christ's name. Lock this other ear. Say what I say. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Well, if you can hear a whisper, you're going to hear anything. Take your own hand. Plug that other ear up. Turn so they don't think you're reading my lips. 
Preach a little message. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Just open. Just open. My deaf ear. My deaf ear. I'll never lose it. I'll never lose it. God. God did it. Everybody say, God did it. God did it. Say, we're still here. We're still here. All right. Lift your hand a moment. Lord, give her a new heart. Now that you're hearing, I'm giving you instruction in both here. I see one lung is smaller than the other. Did you know that? Did the doctor tell you you have a lung that's getting smaller? No. Did they test you like you have to breathe into something or anything like that? Well, the numbers seem like it got worse for you. I know that in my spirit, right? Yes. That's what I thought. Now watch this. Lord, give her two new lungs, like you did the woman in Johnson City, Tennessee. You feel that? That's the power of God. Take a deep breath and hold it. Let it out. Take another deep breath. Let it out. Now, I assume you must have had pain sometimes if you breathe too deep. Is that right? Let's check. I believe the pain's gone. It's a sign to you. Take another deep breath. Let it out. Real deep. Let it out. Pain's not there, is it? What happened? It's gone. It's gone. Are you on oxygen 24-7 up till now? Do you have a favorite gospel song? You hear a choir or someone singing, you say, oh, I love that song. She's got so many, she has to think. Yeah. Now, there's three or four versions of it. But the one I used to know, Jesus used me. Oh, Jesus used me. Yeah. Here's one everybody knows. A friend of mine, he's in heaven now, he wrote this. Everybody say with me these words. How many remember Andre Crouch? Did you like him? Good, because God did. You're going to have to live with him in heaven. Amen. The blood that Jesus shed for me. Did you ever hear that? That gives me strength from say to the devil, I'm not on this 24-7. Amen? Go your way and just praise God this way. The blood that Jesus... The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior today, call the toll-free number and pray with one of our anointed partners and join these that are coming to Christ. Brother Shuttlesworth would like to give you this free copy of the booklet, There's Room at the Cross. Thank you for responding. We look forward to hearing from you now. I have watched 
recently, especially in the entertainment world, all of this satanic uh, worship in their routines and, you know, they bring out the God uh, Moloch in the background. And I've seen these things and I'm wondering, and I believe we're in an all out attack of the devil against our children and families. And it's time to take our authority. We're still here. No matter what the devil is trying to bring against you, your precious family, your loved ones, you're going to make it. And I'm going to pray this prayer of faith. I want you to receive it. Whether it's for your soul or your health, God is able. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for every viewer that's watching right now. I come against sin and the power of sin. I release the precious cleansing, delivering power of what you did on the cross, Jesus, by shedding your blood in payment. Let the people be set free. Healing come. You bore stripes on your back for our healing. I curse sicknesses and diseases in the name of the Lord Jesus. And how we love you. And we give you praise, Lord. Amen. Well, I trust that you receive today what God has promised clearly in his word. I, I get all kinds of requests. The people print these out. They bring them to us. We put them on an altar that we have here. But let me tell you something. I'm believing God with you. And I feel right now we're at a critical time in our world. And I can only take this gospel around the world because of you who are our friends and our partners. Would you consider becoming a partner with me today and sowing a special offering to help us bring this message again to you next week on this station or this network? And I know you'll be blessed. Lord willing, I'll see you next week. Evangelist Ted Shuttlesworth and the entire crusade team would like to invite you to join us for our upcoming crusades. January 14th through the 17th, Brother Shuttlesworth is coming to Elizabeth City, North Carolina at Fountain of Life Church. The church is located at 1107 Highway 17. February 18th through the 23rd, Brother Shuttlesworth is coming to West Palm Beach, Florida for our 2024 Southeastern Camp Meeting at Miracle Word Church. The church is located at 7715 South Dixie Highway. Thank you for tuning in to Faith Alive. We would like to hear from you today. Visit us online at tedshuttlesworth.com. You can also write Ted Shuttlesworth, P.O. Box 7, Farmington, West Virginia, 26571. Or call 1-888-323-2484. That's 1-888-323-2484.